Hey guys, real quick, if you wanna help support Shifting Lanes, help us create more content for you guys, head on down to our Teespring page right below me. That's where we have all of our merch. Fall, right around the corner, go on there, get yourself a really awesome hoodie. We have Shifting Lanes hoodies. If you're one of our returning Volvoists, we got a bunch of really awesome Volvo themed hoodies on the page as well. Basically, every dime we make from selling swag, selling merch, we put right back into the channel and make content for you guys. But enough of that, on to today's video. Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to Shifting Lanes. My name's Chad and as you can tell from the vehicle behind me, we're here to talk about my Mustang, specifically my S550 or 2015 Ford Mustang GT. Now I've owned this car for almost nine months and she's pretty much bone stock. Yes, I did purchase her with a resonator delete and an axle back exhaust, but really in terms of performance mods, she doesn't have any. From factory, she got bigger brakes, better suspension, uh, 373 rear end, I believe, as opposed to a 355, which comes in these, the normal GTs. But as far as aftermarket mods, well, she doesn't really have any. And if you watch the channel, you know that I really, really do not like leaving my cars stock. So to that end, we're going to talk today about the three must have mods for your S550 Mustang. First thing you want to do to any car, if you want to get more performance out of it, is a performance exhaust system. Even turbocharged cars, a turbo back exhaust with the right tune is a massive gain in power versus a cold air intake or any of that other sort of stuff. So to that end, we went out and got ourselves a set of American Racing long tube headers. Why long tube? Because obviously these are longer. A set of shorties would end right about here, which are good for turbocharging. We're not gonna be turbocharging this car anytime soon. So we went long tube headers. Now, some of our more eagle-eyed viewers will notice that these are not the raw metal that they come from when uh, American Racing makes them. That's because we actually ceramic coated these. As anyone will tell you, under hood temps are hugely important when it comes to making horsepower. Hot exhaust raises your intake temps, especially when the hood's closed, which is basically whenever you're driving it and not say on a dyno, just going for big numbers. More on that in a little bit. But you have two options, basically. We decided to ceramic coat because, uh, well, ceramic coating has a couple of a couple of benefits. Number one, it looks freaking awesome. Uh, number two, header wrap, which would be the, uh, the other alternative. Uh, header wrap, if you get a little bit of oil on it, uh, could potentially lead to a fire. Header wrap is fi a fiber. It's basically a, a heat resistant fiber. So it absorbs moisture like oil or any other sort of explodey liquid. Um, it is probably a little better at keeping heat in than ceramic, but uh, this is a nice, clean, simple look. I don't have to wrap them myself, which is, can be a pain, especially when you look at right there. That's gonna be, uh, that would be difficult to get header wrap in. Uh, the long and short of it is these look awesome. They'll get the job done and they'll help make a ton of power. I know a lot of you are thinking with these headers, they do relocate the O2 sensor. The workaround uh, for that, I will get to in just a second. Behind the headers, we're actually gonna run cats. Uh, yes, you can go catless. Yes, you can pass emissions with Catless and everything like that. And yes, if you're looking for the last word in power, Catless is probably the way to go. I didn't want to do that. Uh, I want my car to be able to be inspected pretty easily, uh, especially with everything that's going on right now. So we're going catted because, uh, well, it's just easier and uh, we're helping the planet out slightly. The second mod you want to do to your Coyote powered Mustang is get yourself an aftermarket intake manifold. This doesn't look much different than the one that's stuck. It looks like an OEM part, and there's a very good reason for it. This is an OEM part. This is a manifold off of a 2018 and newer Ford Mustang GT. That has the Gen 3 Coyote. We have the Gen 2 in ours. That has the Gen 3 in it. Now, the Gen 3 got a lot of improvements. Number one, it got higher compression. I believe these are 11, 11 and a half to one. The Gen 3s are 12 to one. The biggest thing is, is that the manifold was completely redesigned for flow and is a much, much better unit than the unit that's on there. Now from quality, that one's fine. 
However, this thing really shines higher up in the rev range because the Coyote stock really only revs out to 68-ish, 100 RPM. We're gonna be raising our RPM to 7,500. So you want that top end power. The stock manifold runs out of puff at, well, you guessed it, 6,800 RPM. It's designed to do the job for what you know Ford put it out for. This is gonna help us rev higher, make way more power on the top, on the big end, well over 7,000 RPM, let that sink in, an American V8 that's revving past 7,000 RPM. So not only does the 2018 flow better than the, the one that's on there now, this one's been ported for even better power gains higher up in the rev range. The best thing about this though, is that the bang for the buck. Sure, if you're chasing the last word in naturally aspirated horsepower with a Coyote, you're gonna go with either individual throttle bodies or the Cobra Jet intake manifold. Those will, however, run you well over $1,000 to get. And really at the end of the day, this performs really, really well, really, really close to the Cobra Jet manifold. The Cobra Jet is a little bit smoother, but the big thing with the Cobra Jet is that it's not boost friendly. We're gonna be adding boost to this bad boy at some point, hopefully in the not too distant future. This is the best of all worlds, and I got it for like 750 bucks, which is an absolute bargain given the performance that this thing provides. Now, obviously we have a new intake manifold that wasn't designed for this car. We have long tube headers that relocate the O2 sensor and really, you know, just slapping them on won't really give us the most out of what that beautiful engineering is. So the last piece of this puzzle and the third must have mod, some might argue the number one mod you should do to really any car, especially if you plan on modding it, is a new tune. Now there, if you're in a Mustang world, one of the reasons I got the Mustang is because you're spoiled for choice when it comes to aftermarket parts. The, there's tons tons of aftermarket tuners out there. We went with, little bezel there. We went with Lund Tuning because you don't have to Google or search or talk to too many people for too long to understand that Lund is basically the best in the business. This cost me about, uh, I think it was like 700 bucks um, to get this, but it does come with the know-how of Lund. Uh, everybody I've spoken to who knows anything about the coyote or anything like that like i said has said get a lung tune you will not uh regret it so what you can't see is basically the tune that's loaded on here and we're going to be doing a full install on this on exactly just how powerful this little unit is and it is incredibly powerful we have the ability to data log on here should we uh should we want to so we can literally go on the dyno get some data logs send it back to lund and they could write us a new tune to help our car get even that much better. But as far as the first tune, nine, 99 times out of 100, it's perfect for the car. So this is what's going to tie all of this together. It, frankly, it would not be possible to run these headers or this manifold on the car without a new tune. So these parts may be flashy. These parts may be the parts you see the most. But without this little bad boy... They're effectively useless and in some cases will even rob your car of performance because the car freaks out and goes into a safe tune which is rich which is very little timing with a whole mess of stuff that well basically doesn't end up making horsepower you might be thinking at this point that there's one glaring omission and that is a cold air intake well cold air intakes are a bit of a misnomer if you go with an open cone setup like i do on my volvo c30 they actually don't make as much power as the stock airbox with a high flow filter in them. They actually make less power. Hot air, that's what we we're talking about with the headers. Intake air temps are huge. And if you're drawing hot air like the Volvo does from right behind the radiator, uh, it actually pulls timing and you're making less horsepower. It's actually been dyno proven that that is the case. Now, again, with the Mustang, you're spoiled for choice for intakes. There's a lot of closed intake setups. However, people who've worked on way more coyotes than I will ever dream of have basically all said the same thing. And that is, sure, they're great for making power on the dyno. In the real world, they don't really make much more power than the stock airbox, especially if you have a good filter in there. That's reason number one why we didn't go with a cold air setup. Reason number two is 
Same reason we went with the 2018 ported intake manifold, and that is eventually this car will see boost. And the couple horsepower I'm losing by not having an, a cold air setup in there were is not worth me buying another intake only to replace it when we do eventually add boost to the car. So just to recap, if you own a Coyote powered Mustang, first things first, get yourself a set of long tube headers that go into a cap back exhaust system. Number two, get yourself an intake manifold. I went with 2018 because bang for buck and boost friendliness. Number three, get yourself a tune. Bolt on mods are great. They will not do much if you don't have a tune to back it up. The tune is in any, no matter what your mods are. So even if it's just an exhaust, even if it's just an intake, you wanna get it tuned because you're gonna maximize what those mods do. And most importantly, it's gonna keep your engine safe. But guys, this video, that's pretty much a wrap. I wanna thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give a thumbs up, smash the subscribe, and hit that little notification bell so you get all of our videos as we release them. If you wanna follow us on social media, it's at Shifting Lanes. I personally am at Chennedy83. Mustang is not gonna be stocked for very much longer. She's definitely gonna get faster. Hopefully we can finally breach our way into the 12s maybe a little bit more if we can actually find traction but she's gonna be louder she's gonna be faster i personally cannot wait until then guys i'll catch you next time